Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm going to help you fix Do Not Disturb if it's not working. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, iPhone has a new version of Do Not Disturb, and it's a little bit different from what it was before. So let's just open up our settings and we can talk about that Do Not Disturb. If you look towards the bottom of the screen, it no longer says Do Not Disturb, but now it says Focus, which is the new kind of rebranded Do Not Disturb. So if we go into Focus, and you'll notice there are several different options now, including Do Not Disturb, as well as some other ones like Sleep, Work, and Personal. Now when you've switched over to iOS 15, it switched over on all these and potentially your Do Not Disturb is no longer working like it used to work. So what I recommend doing is going in here and going into the Do Not Disturb and making sure you go into these settings. At the very bottom it says turn on automatically. You might want to delete some of these automations if you have various automations that will turn on the Do Not Disturb even though you don't necessarily want it to turn on. But what I would recommend doing is getting out of here and to deleting as many of these as you can. And then at the very top right, you can hit plus, and then you can create your own custom do not disturb. So at the top, hit custom, and then you can name it whatever you want. You can choose a various emoji. You can just do, I'm just gonna do something random here, and then hit next. You can allow certain people to call you during that Do Not Disturb or not. You can go through these steps and customize that Do Not Disturb. So it's key to go through these steps and to delete and check all of these if there are any kind of automations. You can delete some of these focus. I can hit the delete button here to remove them. You can hit personal if you want to set up a personal, but make sure you go through and review all the settings because most likely if it's not working properly, it's because the settings got messed up or there's certain automations when it got switched over to iOS 15 on your iPhone. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.